So let me make sure I understand this. AMC goes up 15% and we halt because it's too volatile and because the market wants to help retail investors and support them and save them. But SLND goes up 22,000% in five minutes and no halts. You see it right here, guys. We've seen this before. We've been over before. Different stocks in the market are allowed to run like crazy. But when AMC gets a bid and moves up 5, 10, 15%, it's halted up until the point where it finally drops back down in price. How is this a fair market? Why does Gary Gensler not look into this? Comparing Ortex data between June 2021 before the run up to present day, and this is really, really juicy. So in June, remember, back to that famous day, June 21st, the high CTP average, 89.4%, which is very, very high. The CTP max, 300%, more or less. Short interest of free float, 11%. Now looking at present time, highest CTP average, 591, max, 900%. Short interest of free float, 21 to 23% of the range. AMC still in debt but much better financials and cash reserves than two years ago. The movie outlook is better than ever. Increase in shorts only tells us the majority wanted AMC to go bankrupt and hence there are minimal positions being closed. Buckle up apes, of course we don't know what's going to happen, but this is about to get interesting. Originally I thought that there would be around 12 billion synthetics that hedge funds would have to cover when we squeeze, but as long as this has gone on, and as much as they are shorting, I wouldn't be surprised if we broke at least 30 billion synthetics, if not more. It's numbers like these that make me feel justified in my belief that we could see AMC squeeze to $20,000 or more per share. Comment down below in all seriousness, guys. At this point in October of 2022, how many synthetic shares of AMC stock, not Ape, just AMC stock, are out there? Is it 3 billion? Is it 5 billion? Is it 30 billion? Comment down below how many synthetic shares you think are out there as of now. Once in a lifetime, stay thirsty, friends. Let's talk about the squeeze floors. This has not been talked about in a while. Let's review it. First off, we have 1K, self-gain, not crazy, local news talk. 5K, 5 to 10% of apes get wealthy, some headlines. 10K, 25% of the apes might have life-changing money, national headlines. 25K, 50% of apes have life-changing money, worldwide attention, and FOMO. 50k. Almost all apes are millionaires before taxes. Game changer history will mention us. And 100k per share. Once in a lifetime, everyone eats before and after taxes. Textbooks and classrooms will remember us and use a case study to remember us and recall us long, long into history. What is your current squeeze floor that you're looking to hold through, guys? Comment down below.